for me to leave you wandering in the wilderness, thinking that you're doing something. Peace and love, friends. Peace and love, scholars. My young scholars out there. Mr. O, the hip-hop teacher, a.k.a. Kamal, the hip-hop teacher. Listen, today I was in class, and I was doing some life lessons. Like, I always tell a few life lessons that apply to the lessons, or study habits and things like that, right? And I want to shout out Tala, because... Tyler was like, Mr. Oates, why don't you do a series called Life Lessons, all right? And I'm like, wow. So this is my first life lesson. Shout out to all my students in Belleville and all my students in Newark, all right? So, and all my students, all right, because I have students. But anyway, so here it is. I always tell my son, who is 17 and a national honor student, we always taught him this. If you can take, this is about focus, focus and concentration. If you can take five to 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20, of your 24 hour day to focus on the work at hand, that ditto, that essay, studying 20 minutes, up to 20 minutes, uninterrupted, you'll probably knock it out and have time for other things or knock most of it out or bring forth an understanding of what it is instead of being distracted and distracting yourself by saying, uh, oh, I got to sharpen my pencil. Oh, I need a pencil. Oh, She's making faces at me. Oh, he hit me. Can I go to the bathroom? Can I get water? Can I get something out of my coat? Can I charge my laptop? You're getting nothing done. Now, the people that are working diligently, they might knock it out in five minutes, 10 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes what you are taking all day long to do, and it's becoming stress, and by the time you get to it, it's stress and duress because now you're up against the clock, or you're not doing it right, or you're rushing it, and it's not gonna come out. Hey, you're not gonna be seen or known or know yourself as an A-plus scholar. So remember, you have 24 hours in a day. You're probably awake 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hours. So take, oh my God, if you took one hour out of the day to really focus, you'd be a genius. If you took two hours, you'd be a multi-genius in today's society. So put away the distractions, your friends, you want to play. You don't come to school to play. There's some fun in school but you come to school to learn and to get good A's, maybe B's, but definitely A's, so that you can take that history, that transcript, and go wherever you want, whether it's college, trade school, computer school, a nice job, you can show those transcripts in your future, and you will know how to articulate any subject. Okay, so that's the lesson. Focus, a thoroughbred that is a top racehorse, a thoroughbred racehorse horse puts blinders on. Why? So they don't have to see the horse over here falling, the horse outrunning them, or catching up to them, or the horse over here. They're focused on the finish line. Focus on the finish line. Work before you play. Success equals work before you play. You play later because you're celebrating the achievements of your day and your achievements, period. You can be relieved and enjoy yourself leisurely. Okay? All right. Life lesson number one. Mr. O in the building. Uh. All right? See y'all later. Take that with you. Put it in, lock it up, click, click. All right, peace.
impossible for me to leave you wandering in the wilderness, thinking that you're doing something.